Bonjour Jenny Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to calculate the centroid y bar of a giving shape. These type of problems are important if you're taking AP Civil, Mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking statics class. Now, if you're for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so we're giving this system and we need to calculate the centroid y bar. So let's go to page 71 on the reference manual and get the equations and write it down. So here we have the equation y bar is equal to the summation of y n times a n over a. So I'm going to write it down and then we'll explain what each term means. So y n is the centroid of the parts that you are working with always reference to the datum. Now, a n is the area of that part that you are working with and divided by the summation of all the areas for the whole shape. So let's split this into two parts. I would like to do it this way. So this is going to be our part a and this is going to be our part two. So let's do y n times a n of part one. So my area, which is easy, I like to start with the, the area. 50 times 30. So let's pick this to be our datum. So we're always starting from this part here. The centroid of this portion reference to this, it's going to be 15, right? It's half of 30. This is my yn1. So it's going to be 15. So this is my area one, and this is my yn1. So the second part is, so we have 30 times 80, which is my area, 30 times 80. It's a rectangular. And then my yn, this one is a little bit tricky because the centroid of part 2 is 40, right? It's just half of this, half of 80. So that's going to be 40. So the centroid of my part 2 is this from here to here, which we said is 40. But we all said also that yn has to always be referenced to the datum. So we picked our datum to be here, so I have to add 30. Because keep in mind, guys, that this is the centroid for the whole body. So you always have to reference it to the datum so that you get the centroid for the whole shape. If you just do 40, you're just doing the centroid of just this portion. So what we do is you do 40, which is the centroid of part 2, and you add whatever length that is to your datum. So this is going to be 40 plus 30. So this is yn2, and this is my area 2. Now, this whole thing has to be divided by the sum of the areas, which we have 50 times 30 plus 30 times 80. So this is equals to 48.85 millimeters. Okay, so here's a question for you. Try to solve for x bar and leave it in the comments below. Okay guys, so on the next video, we're going to calculate the moment of inertia of the same giving shape. So make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release the video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.